Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out, here it comes. Get ready to fight! Understood. I'm using this, Sugumi! <laughs> Here we go. 
Do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But... The environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just... leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But... you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So, what do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay, let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey, how come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um, it's a rare flower, so I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity, then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long-distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no, it's nothing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. The flowers I planted before are about to bloom. When they do, I want to show you, Yuito. I'm looking forward to it. You're good at taking care of plants. You're good at taking care of me. You're good at taking care of people. Huh? Really? Oh man, you're making me blush. Say something? Just let me know when you want to talk.
Hey, there you are, Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the Master of Fun? No. You said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So, I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next up, karaoke. What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you dragged me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something, too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. Okay. He dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are. <laughs> 